for many years, blind individuals have walked among us. Despite their disability, you have heard tales of these individuals possessing special skills. Their acute senses of hearing, touch, and smell allow them to see the world in their own way, making them seem superhuman. Their ears can paint a picture of the world around them, and their hands can discern tiny details with incredible accuracy. But what if I told you that blind individuals aren't the only ones that can possess these superhuman abilities? With practice, anyone, including you, can become a sensory superhuman. For today, we're going to specifically focus on the sense of touch. So let's begin with what's going on in blind individuals' brains. fMRI studies have shown what is known as cross-modal plasticity. This means that the medial occipital cortex in some areas of V1 in blind individuals actually become responsive to non-visual input. This is fascinating because it means that the visual cortex of the brain is lighting up even though they can't actually see. Other researchers have actually shown cortical increases in thickness in the visual, sensory motor, and auditory areas of blind individuals' brains. So that's it, right? They simply have stronger brain regions because of their lack of vision? Well, actually, no. Scientists have proposed two possible theories for why blind individuals may have stronger tactile senses. The first theory is the visual deprivation hypothesis. This is what everyone tends to assume is the reason is that the absence of vision itself drives tactile acuity enhancement. After all, research shows that unused regions of the brain are filled by other functions. However, the second theory is the tactile experience hypothesis. The tactile experience hypothesis attributes increased abilities to prolonged practice with acute tactile information. In other words, Blind individuals have a good sense of touch compared to most other people because they're constantly relying on their hands for obtaining information. So in order to figure out which of these hypotheses are correct, researcher Michael Wong designed an experiment to test it, and he found that tactile experience was the driving force for increased tactile performance in blind individuals because they discovered that blind individuals' dominant hand that they use to read braille was significantly better at perceiving stimulus than their non-dominant hand. If the visual deprivation hypothesis were true, then that means the dominant hand and the non-dominant hand should be relatively similar in their ability to perceive tactile stimulus, but that's not the case. So what does this mean for us? This means that with practice, we too can develop tactile expertise. In an article titled, Feeling Small, Exploring the Tactile Perception Limits, the researchers found that our fingers can actually pick up on information as small as 13 nanometers thick. If you're not sure how small that is, a single sheet of paper is 75,000 nanometers thick. That is insane. When I first heard this statistic, it inspired me to create a experiment for myself. Because I used to do a lot of magic tricks in middle school, I worked with playing cards a lot, and eventually I was able to cut the deck perfectly in half every time. So I wanted to see if I could take this a step further. Would it be possible to train my fingers to accurately draw the exact number of cards of any given amount? For my experiment, I did 40 trials each day for three days. Numbers were randomly generated, and I attempted each trial without looking at the cards. Compared to my baseline attempt, my day 3 results were slightly better. However, the difference was not significant. Then, I had my wife attempt the same 40 trials. Compared to her data, my day 3 attempts were significantly closer to the given values. 
This significant difference is likely due to having seven more years of practice with handling cards than her. So, why should you care about this? Studies have found a correlation between aging and decline of sensory function. As we age, the threshold for perceiving cutaneous stimulation increases, making it harder to discern tiny details with our hands. So, if you spend some time developing your sensory acuity, whether that's learning braille or picking up exact numbers of playing cards, not only will you appear to have superhuman abilities, but you may also be decreasing your risk of future cognitive decline. Thank you.